<laughs> Ready for the camera? <laughs> camera friendly. <laughs> All right. Well, we're live, guys. Evening, everybody. So we've got a bit of an international one here. We've got uh, Tasman Bricks, who's from Queensland, which is in Australia, but every state seems to be like a country in Australia. Um, <laughs> we've got Stanio here, who's also in New South Wales, and we've got Blockhead UK from, can you guess, the UK? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it cold yeah, there at the moment, Kaz? Uh, no, it's pretty pretty nice, actually. It's been freezing last week, sub-zero for seven or eight days on the trot. Uh, but it's it's up in the early teens Celsius now, so it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, snow seems to have calmed down, doesn't it? Didn't last too long, did it? Well, about a week of hideous uh, not doing anything because of the snow. But... Yeah. I know it was driving my mum nuts because my dad was at home. <laughs> <laughs> he usually goes out and does gardening for people. So. Right. Yeah, very difficult when the ground's frozen. <laughs> and everything else. This is unusual for me. I've got nothing on my table. Did I get over there or? What was that? You're, okay, you, okay. you're really, really quiet, Stanley. Oh, sorry. Are you are you guys um, still in lockdown or not? In the UK, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Just what I thought. Apparently, my parents' town was like one of the biggest hotspots. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, Which really? is good when your parents are both in their seventies. Yes, the south of Essex is unclean, definitely. <laughs> I'm in mid Essex, so it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, rivalry within Essex. <laughs> mm. no, we, I mean, you know, I go out for my fortnightly shop and go out for exercise and that's it really. So it's all pretty dull. Yuck. Yeah, my parents have had their vaccinations now. Yeah, mine have as well, actually. Well, they've had the first lot. Yeah, the first lot, yeah. Um, my dad got sick from it for about a day. But really? Things mm. are right after that. Luckily, Which is unusual because my well. dad's pretty bulletproof. Hmm. Ah. At least he thinks he is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, of the two, it's my dad that's fairly bulletproof as well. So, but he was all right. right. So, you guys are both building. So, we've got Tasman's building the police station finally. Yeah, I'm just going to start. Finally. Then <laughs> <laughs> he's opening it as well. I've, I've already built mine, so I can't. <laughs> Take it apart again and start again. Yeah, start again, Greg. Yeah. No, I'm going to do part sorting tonight because I need to. Mm. <coughs> well, I'm building one of these. Or should I say another one of these? I was going to say, haven't you got like five of them already? No, to be honest, I've only got one of these. And on my weekly shop on Friday, I went to Tesco's and they got them, I think they're normally 25 quid and they got them at 16. So I thought, ooh, one of those can accidentally fall into my basket. <laughs> now you've got five. No, I've only got two now. So Dash Bricks and Patrick O'Connor. Hello. Good day. Patrick's in the US. Where's Dash Bricks? I've oh, got to be Australia. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. No worries. So, Kaz, um, starting is from Lego Masters Australia Season 2. He was okay. one of the contestants. So him and his partner, uh, Jay, represented the state of New South Wales. Cool. Yeah, they... I'm um, doing intros because obviously Greg is, is such a terrible host, he didn't bother. <laughs> <laughs> we love Greg. Yeah, yeah. So have you done a lot of streaming with him? I mean, I must admit, I haven't watched much of his uh, streams. Yeah, before. a couple of times now, yeah. And I've, I've invited him over on mine a couple of times as well. So yeah. vice versa and... Um, yeah, I usually pick his brain on different things because I've got no idea. And I'll be just like, oh, I'll just ask the host, don't I? Um, so <laughs> I haven't done so any streaming myself for quite a while, actually. I did I did quite a lot of last year, but I kind of ran out yeah. of steam with YouTube altogether a little bit. So yeah. I need to get back to editing regularly because I've got lots of content filmed, but none of it's uh, ready to show anybody. <laughs> yeah. 
editing's always um, like I'm mainly just live streaming because I don't have to edit because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, <laughs> but um, sorry, starting. I hear. You. <laughs> I have a little drone. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, I've um, I've I've picked um, Stani's brain a, a fair bit about the show and learning a bit about Lego Masters. So it's been yeah. really cool. You hoping to go on yourself sometime? Yeah. You know I, I am. Like me. Yeah. I'm trying to write. I'm trying to write GJ in. I must confess, competitive building, I can't think of anything worse personally, but if folks like doing it, it's fine. You yeah. get free Lego, Chris. Sorry? You get free Lego. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you also get the stress of having to do things on a very tight time scale. And uh, I'm yeah. TV lovey. I know what the back backstage of TV is like, and it's not particularly that much fun, so. Uh, <laughs> very long and out of not yeah. <laughs> you think you've done a perfect take and somebody didn't do something. It's like, you've got to do it all again now. Yeah. Um, got to build that model again. What? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, lost, I lost count of how many times I actually walked through that roller door. Oh, you you mean Australia's slowest um, roller door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do a slow motion roll underneath it then. Oh, that thing was like... You would have had time to cook a feed, have a cup of coffee, roll a smoke if you smoke, and you'd still be waiting for the thing to get halfway up. Nice. I mean, most people just ducked under and just did the good old um, what's that game where you um you you, you bend under the um the, the pole that they yeah what's that thing? Um, right, where you you bend you bend under and that's like most most of them were doing that again because it was quicker. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. I've no idea when we're going to get another season of Lego Masters in the UK. We've only had two so far. And the last one was a couple of years ago now, so. Wow. Everybody else seems to be getting uh, getting more and more series, and we're sitting there going, hello, hello. We want it. Where can you turn? <laughs> Lego Masters over there, right? The ratings. I mean, I don't mind watching other people build, but I don't want to do it myself, particularly. Yeah, we've got a few people joined now. We've got Douglas McBricken, we've got Andrew Thornton, Cy O'Connor. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, Kaz, sorry. Go on. I was going to say, I think um, Kaz, I think Stani asked, um, how did it, how did Lego, how did Lego Masters wait over there in the UK? Oh, God knows. I don't take much notice of that. Um, I think it was quite popular. Yeah, the, the series one was the first one anywhere. So, and then you know, the format. Yeah, and then Australia fixed the format like the uh, they did with Master Chef, wasn't it? The trouble is, I find with all of these reality things, I don't normally watch that kind of competitive reality thing because I find them immensely annoying. And it was a little bit the same with our Lego Masters in that being a being a Lego nerd, I wanted to see more of the builds and less of the drama but of course they they only put the drama on to the rating so you know it's like, oh i just i don't care about yeah. this, what this contestant's done all that contestant's done just show me the damn lego so, so you <laughs> absolutely hated the us one which was mostly about the host yeah oh, no. it was a little yeah. bit like that with ours i mean it, the guy was the guy's nice enough but he he had he's got one of these really quite shouty delivery and even if he's talking directly to somebody next to him, he seems to just be shouting all the time. Shouting that they turn the mic down, if you know what I mean. So he's not actually that loud, but he's just got this really grating voice. So, I mean, that's just my prejudice, obviously. But... <laughs> and then we had we had one thing with a Christmas special, uh, maybe between series one and two. And I was really very disappointed with that because they had... They had some celebrities on, so it was basically some of the kids that they had previously were paired with an adult celebrity, which is fine. Um, and they were obviously given challenges. I think they only got one round effectively to just build whatever. 
and I had to build Christmas decorations and other stuff. And one of the celebrities who, frankly, I've never heard of, but that's no surprise because I'm not really that kind of celebrity following person. But he decided he, it would be a good wheeze rather than build something himself with his child partner. Um, he was going to steal some of the decorations that were already set dressing and pass it off as his own. And you could see that when it came to the judging, the kid who was with him was absolutely crushed because he knew he was going to get disqualified. And I thought, no. to me, that does not make good television. That is just cruel. And, you know, they yeah. had a bit of a word with him and told him he was, to, you know, don't be such a lad and all this. And I thought, no, it's a shitty thing to do to a kid. And I really, I really didn't like it. And that, that put me off quite a lot. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's not. That's, that's not. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's 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 that's sad. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I realised I said the S word, but um, that's I was right. <laughs> <laughs> We're after ten o'clock. Yeah. We're after ten o'clock somewhere. That's not ten o'clock here. I'm gonna have to go get my beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're on a stream with Australians. Beer for breakfast here. <laughs> Got to keep up the uh, appearances, haven't we? Oh yeah. Tasman's from Queensland, so he drinks Forex. No, I'm drinking Great Northern. <laughs> my Great Northern's my Great Northern's my beer. It seems like Forex is only sold in Queensland, isn't it? <laughs> no, you, you can get it. Well, yeah, but I mean, you, you do see it from time to time. But um, I mean, and look, Great Great Northern's a Queensland beer as well. But um, it seems far more popular by the looks of it so far. I, I think. You know, plenty of people at the at the local bottle line grabbing grabbing cartons of Great Northern. It's like, wow, there you go, it's another popular Queensland beer. I haven't seen Castlemaine in, in absolute donkeys in the UK. Not that I look for it. But <coughs> yeah. You might still be around. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 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 um, yeah, I'm starting to be a bit partial to the um to to, to Bulmers. Um, I don't mind apple cider as well, but um there was one in, in hobart part of um, cascade brewery they did one called mercury cider oh that's really? a cider oh well, yeah well it was very good starting you treat yourself mate i know you like bombers nothing wrong with bombers either but treat yourself as well one time try mercury yeah i'll, I'll try it for what, if i see it i'll try it for sure yeah it's it's not bad i just don't, I, yeah. I don't think it, that's all no, well, well, Mercury being being a cider as well, but that's why it's um, um, because like Cascade obviously does you know does their own their own beer, but they also do uh, apple cider as well. So I think they do a couple of other different ciders, but apple being one of them. Um, oh, yeah, uh, love Mercury. I'm not a big cider fan. I find it too sweet, but I did discover that if you mix pear cider with apple cider, it's amazing. Oh really? I haven't tried that. Yeah, well, give it a go and let me know your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Moving back to Lego content, Douglas asked, <laughs> um, <laughs> "Did the show put him up to it, or was it his idea? I don't know." To honest answer, um, who knows? Oh, that yeah, that question yeah, that was pretty awful. Mm. And Dash yeah. says he misses my videos. Yes, thank you very much for your kind words. I really must uh, pull my finger out and do some more editing. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've liked the Australian show of, of Lego Masters. I, I don't know if you've ever seen it, Kaz, but no. it's actually quite good. All of the teams on there have been, um, been very... None of them have felt too pretentious. Hmm. They've all, um, they've all and got we all know an Aussie doesn't suffer somebody who's up themselves, do, do they? So, no, no, 
Well, I hope we said in the first series he was trying to build the massive DeLorean. What's his name? <laughs> Kyle. Kyle. Good. Yeah. Name. Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, he, he, there was one guy in the first series. He's a good builder, but he did shoot him with his teammate in the foot. <laughs> yeah. Overpromised and underdelivered. Oh, I was convinced they could build this. Like the, the challenge was to build a, a realistic, like a DeLorean, and they were expecting sort of a creator-sized DeLorean, not like a massive thing. Yeah. And he went about trying to build some like shop display-sized one. Oh, something you could sit in. Yeah, pretty Almost. much. Almost. And unsurprisingly, yeah. got like about a third of the way through it. And he was well, still I know convinced. the will go home, but even so. Yeah, that, that was what cost them the, uh, yeah, the show. But uh, I think it was um, about halfway through, he still hadn't realised he had no hope of doing it. Mm. <laughs> Dude, the video is going to cause collectors massive headaches. I'm presuming he's meaning because of the um, uh, the silly blind boxes for some of the characters, which yeah. I must admit annoys me intensely. But I'm just a moaning old cow, so it, it'd be alright if you could like buy them from Lego and say I want this one. Yeah, or you could buy a full set from Lego and actually get a full set, not like, like random. Well, allegedly, if you buy a box, there's two full sets in the box. Yeah, the or same if you can get your hands on a box that's not yet been opened, they're they're basically one full set each each column. So if you get take one side, that's the whole collection. But I'd well, have to that is, I don't know. That's what I heard with the Mario boxes. Although when I did it, I didn't get a full set. <laughs> mm. I mean, Jang was mildly moaning about it as well, so I guess he's a moaning old cow as well. But um, <laughs> Jang was moaning as much as Jang ever moans about anything which is not a lot really and um he's, he always makes very valid points and and you know he's right well why, why should the consumer have to go to a third to one of two third parties either ebay or Bricklink, to get the product they want it doesn't yeah. make any sense and i suspect they really would end up selling more copies of whatever it is if people could know for sure that they were getting what they wanted yeah yeah, it's because nuts. I know people that maybe only they're only maybe interested in one or two of those twelve, and they're not prepared to risk five bucks or whatever it is per per shot to get a one in twelve chance. It's not good odds, and they're quite no. expensive anyway. So, yeah, it's a bit disappointing that. Yeah, and you, and you can't share the music because it's copyrighted. No. <laughs> Although I'm, I'd love to know how Jang managed to get the video out of it out of the app, because you're not supposed to be able to do that either. But he managed to get it into his video, you know, his, his video that he's doing as a review. So you just you plug it into your computer and use a debugger and record the screen. Well. Uh, excuse the noises of pieces being put all over the place. It wouldn't be a Lego stream without that sound, though. It wouldn't be, would it? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Sorry, Sorry, what are you Hi, haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> Garligate's mm. usually like uh, there was a period where every time I went onto any stream or anyone else's stream, she was there or she was on my streams. It seemed like she was in like fifteen places at once. Yes. <laughs> I've not seen her for <laughs> I think she's perhaps sick of screens a little bit because she's had to homeschool her kitty for quite some time. So. Oh, that would kill it. But yes, it's nice to see you. But Douglas has been buying big by the looks of it. What's he been buying? Oh, is he so video that already? It's not supposed to be in the shops to the first of March. Um, it's in Kmart here, has been releasing it early. Uh. Six cubes, 12 blind boxes, 132 tiles. They've gone overboard on the tiles. I must confess, they, they look like some really nice graphics on the tile. Which you can actually see through the packet. So that's one bonus. <laughs> what the? You can see what's in the bags through the, you can see what's in the bags because there's a clear panel on them. Ooh. Which bags are they? 
What was that? I'm talking about video, not dots. Yeah, no, video. The video oh, packs as well. I thought they were all blind. Well, I mean, the not big the... cubes are all big things with an exact number on. Yeah, the minifigures are boxes, aren't they? And then the actual yeah. packets of um, tiles are um, bags that you can see into. I didn't like know it. they were doing packets of tiles. That's news to me. I think so. Sure, I saw that. I thought they only came with the minifigs. Oh. Huh. I thought there was. Uh, I thought there were bags of tiles you could buy as well. Maybe I misunderstood that. No, I don't think so. No. Ah. All right, I eat my words. That's how much attention I paid to video. Your yeah, dude just says it's in a box. You can't feel them. What is? Yeah. <laughs> Something they've done with uh, Universal Music, I think. Yeah. So it's. Stanley, do you remember the? Um, do you remember the the Hidden Side app? at all familiar with it yeah so it's kind of so this new video thing is using like the aug augmented reality like they did with the <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, okay. yeah so it's very much uh app dependent but it's still yeah there's a there's a unicorn one which my daughter loves unicorn so i'll probably buy that one for her which will give me a chance to have a quick look at it but i don't think we'll be you know getting the entire series but my daughter's a unicorn kid so hey you know i'm hoping to get some for review soon for um new elementary but i don't know what they'll be i mean it's just been a random collection apparently so yeah do you know i guys like the old reality say that again you keep breaking up when i when oh, yeah. what do you think on the What's your opinion on the augmented reality? Do you like it? Or well, not? I mean, you can download the app and play with it now. You don't need to buy anything. Oh, ah, okay. And in fact, as Jan pointed out, if you can find the high resolution photo of the tiles, which isn't difficult online, you can just scan those and you don't actually need to buy anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> so they've shot themselves in the foot with that, haven't they? Um, yeah. But. Yeah. Uh, I, I never used the, I couldn't use the um, hidden side thing because I had a really old terrible phone when that was out and you, you can't download that app anymore, I don't think. Um, but I managed to download this new one a couple of days ago and had to play with it and it's all right. I think well, I got bored with it quite quickly. I think kids probably will as well, but we shall see. Yeah. I managed to find so the tiles give you either sort of different video effects if you if you click them while the music's playing or there's sometimes like a, a little not an Easter egg but an animation that you can you can use in the video. And I random I was randomly clicking stuff to see what it did and all of a sudden this this cat shot across the screen that appeared to be farting uh cop mode. So <laughs> And somebody said, what do you mean, fart powered cat? I said, well, a cat flew across the screen, an actual Lego minifigure sized cat, uh, and it was sort of clouds of stuff coming out of its rear end. So what what are you supposed to interpret that as? A farting cat. Stay classy, Lego. Stay classy. <laughs> oh, man, they're really slipping. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there you go. Oh. Dude says the minifigs are awesome. The printing's amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with the designs that they've got. Um, the app cost, it crashes constantly on my phone, he says. It's Lego TikTok, yeah. Animation, sound effects, costumes, beats, etc. The bouncing teddies are cool. I haven't seen the bouncing teddies. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I said I will have to look into it a bit more. Yeah. If we see you dancing around on a <laughs> on the app, it's going to be funny, mate. Someone uh, will make a meme. <laughs> I know about. It. <laughs> well, allegedly, you're not. You, you can share. You can record things into the app and share them locally so you know let people yeah. watch them locally easily enough yeah. but if you want to share them on their social media site which apparently is manually moderated so that's going to cost a fortune um then 
you can't show anybody's face. So you can't show any kids' faces or any identifiable features. So yes. as a presumably meant as a you know, keeping the kids safe type measure, but I don't know how well that will be managed. Yeah. How long is our part human anatomy makes it onto the Yeah. Okay. So all I'm saying is don't be disappointed if you can't see his face. <laughs> don't be trying to share something else that we don't want to see either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> identifiable features, but only to a select few. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, um. Well, we've definitely busted the ratings thing this week, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, sorry to have yeah. brought the phone down terribly there. <laughs> God, Kaz. You love your phone, Greg. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, Stanley, you're working, you're working on the place module, are you? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, 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 I just started now, and because uh, I'm waiting for parts for my mock, so... Yeah. Um, I've just, I thought I'd just start the police station, building the time. I'm up to bag nine. I am a slow builder, but I've made it to bag nine. Um, you know, when we were doing the um, the the the, uh, the, um, the the live stream that the, the twelve hour live stream, um, I had started the police module then, and I'm still I've only just made it to bag nine. So oh, it took me a while actually. I didn't build it very quickly. Oh, I'm a slow builder. My 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 co-host um, likes to like, and look, I fully admit, but. See, in a little bit of a way, Karma got him back where, okay, Kaz and, and GJ, because Stani was, was on the stream with us um, towards the end there as well. But for Kaz and, and GJ, do you remember that um, it was the creator, I don't know if it fell under the expert series, it might have. It was, Stani got set, um, it was that VW, was it the bus or like the, the van like set? The VW yeah. camper van, yeah. Yeah, so ha have you, Heather, have you, Sorry, have either of you got that set? No. Okay, it doesn't come with numbered bags. Oh, God. Yeah, that was... <laughs> so, Scott... Um... That's quite a big set, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's an old set, so I suspect that's why there's no numbered bags. Yeah, but more power to my co-host. He, he he powered through and he, and he got... He finished it, wow. but the way that he was describing his pain and anguish of going through the set is why I was... I spent most of the time laughing because, you know, at one point he'd said, look, to the designer of that set, you're a genius. <laughs> Great set. To the person who decided not to number the bags, you should be fired. <laughs> and yeah. I'm just sitting there like this thing, tears and laughter. And <laughs> Scott was like, why are you laughing? And I'm like, dude, the way that you were describing it was comical. I was laughing. Of course I was laughing. Well, I, mean, I saw, you know, I saw that, someone the other day. That um, long ago, they didn't have numbered bags, and I think that's yeah. probably an old enough set to have been in that. that it time must, frame. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So you know, I can. Well, understand I the lad, they didn't even tell you what parts are in each stage. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You just had to the find them as you built them. The biggest yeah. thing I've built recently is is Ninjago City Gardens, which is over there. Oh wow. Um. And you know, sometimes on the really big sets, they um, they outline things in red as to where they've got to go on what you've already built. That's what they're doing with the place modular, yeah. Yeah, they did that for the water level right at the bottom, and then it stopped. Oh. And I was kind of, it, I was a few more pages on before I thought, wait a minute, where have the little red bits gone? <laughs> and then it came back again. So uh -oh. there were two big books, or three big books, I think. It was only that first, I don't know, 20 or 30 steps out of several hundred that had the, mm. the little red markings in them. I'm like, well, that's a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> now, starting, what was the set that was one of the big sets you built that, that didn't have bags, uh, numbered bags as well? Uh, it was the first Star Destroyer, the UCF um, Star Destroyer. From the oh. early 2000s. Yes. That one. Damn. Biggest set. Uh, big all grey as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I saw someone the other day who just bought the Millennium Falcon and took all of the bags out. You called it what? 
all the bags she out. the big Millennium Falcon and tipped all of the bags out. Oh, oh. Not oh. <laughs> right. That would have, yeah, no, I, I couldn't. Why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 unless, unless you've got a lot of time on your hands. I mean, a lot of time. Oh, Maybe he wanted to null all the parts before he did anything with them. <laughs> Maybe. Actually, the new Star Destroyer is on my wish list because I always wanted the uh, I always wanted that one you got from from the two thousand. <laughs> always kick myself for not getting it. Yeah, I I'll, I'll, I'll just take uh, <laughs> I bought these shelves like weeks weeks ago, and uh, finally putting stuff in them and knocking stuff off them. <laughs> so you're, you're you're sorting and then resorting, are you, Greg? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I'm still keeping all the big things in like takeaway containers, like I was in different drawers, but all the smaller sort of tiles and things like that are on that. Mm. Oh. How to get the most out of a uh, pick a brick cup? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Miss Pick a Brick, our shops have been shut for ages. So, yeah, Greg seems to make it up to the Leicester Square one, London Bridge Bricks. Not at the moment, it doesn't because it's shut. Ah, oh, our true. Non-essential shop has been shut for months. Lego's essential. Well, <laughs> yeah, you could argue that, but. Sadly, like, our government, yeah, government doesn't have for the same opinion. All right. Hello, everybody. And I've dropped the first piece on the floor. Excellent. Excuse me while I go. Is, is your room like mine, Kaz, where it's like I've not left much room to actually do my building? So if I Correct. drop anything, it's like a mission. Yep, that's it. And I've usually got, I haven't actually got any dogs tonight, but usually I've got a dog under my desk and a dog behind me. So when I drop a piece, it gets stuck in their fur as well. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, the best thing I ever did was take, I've got part, basically I'm building on top of the parts drawer here. And they, they came with um, plastic casters on them. And the best thing I did was just take the flipping casters off because everything you drop goes underneath the drawer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I had some uh, I had some floor standing shelves and you just can't get like the bottom level just if you put the bottom level on you are screwed so I just decided to not put the bottom level on and just put everything on the floor that level yeah and yeah same thing when I moved it originally the amount of stuff that was under there when I had that bottom level was ridiculous I'm like, oh, that's where that figure went oh. <laughs> Sorry, you son, know, you're up. I don't know if Lego Lemaniac does live stream. And he's got some games that he uses um, to, to keep the punters entertained when he does his long live streams. And one of them is um, you kind of gamble bricks. So you, you can hashtag bricks. It's one of these StreamYard type um, bot things. And you gamble the bricks to see whether or not you get more bricks or lose bricks. And if you get more bricks, uh, it, it sums up with this happy message saying, congratulations, you've now, you know, you gambled 100 bricks and you now got 200 or whatever. Ooh. But if you lose them, it says, unfortunately, the great carpet has eaten your bricks. <laughs> 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 it's like, ah, yes, that'll be wild. Now, the, the eternal sorting question. Do I sort, like, these are the same type of bricks. Do I put them together because they're two colours or do I have the different colour in a different tray? Well, it depends, I would say. And it depends on, are they already sorted? Hmm. And well, they've just come out of a pick a brick cup. What, all together? I've been sorting my bricks for the first ever time in my life. Right. <laughs> well, personally, I sort by type and not by colour except if i've got hundreds of one particular piece and only maybe a handful of other colored things of the same piece i will keep the, the single color separate mm. um because if you if you tip them out to look for something 
it's a lot easier or if you don't have an actual thumb it's a lot easier to find it if they're all the same piece but you're looking for specific color think of the small piece rather than i've got five thousand red things here and i'm looking for a one by one red thing and it, you never find it that's uh delightfully um logical Kaz. i like it yes well, you know, do it how you want because it's your stuff. So. Well, uh, well, I was actually doing it the way you just said. And then I was like, wait, is this right? Whatever you want to do is right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, like, when I first started, I did like most people who first start sorting, and I, I sorted by colour. Yeah. And about, I don't know how long it was, but it wasn't that long later. I thought, this is stupid. Ooh. And I thought, my collection wasn't that big at that point and i thought if i don't rearrange it now i'm never going to do it <coughs> so i tipped everything out well not quite but i i rearranged it by piece and ever since i i know where things are and it's really quick to find stuff so mm. that's just me well see greg there's and and, and Kaz, I, mean, I know it's hard in, in other countries too at the moment with what's been going on but I've said to, uh, and it's probably just because I'm hinting, so I want to see Starney's awesome uh, Lego City and that, but I've said, hey, if you ever need any help with part sorting, I have a part sorting party. You know, some pizzas, beer. We just all get together and help part sort and, you know, <laughs> have a bit of fun that way. Yeah, That's I love sorting, and I, I did that myself with some mates from my lug um, just before lockdown started in the UK because we've got, there's yeah. another lady who really, really loves sorting, and there's another lady who absolutely hates it. So we said, okay, we'll come and sort if you feed us pizza. And she went, yeah, you're on. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lovely yeah. time, but, you know, then everything went to hell. So we haven't done it since. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're back. Sorry, mate, we're back up to? The bag too now. Hey, you'll catch up to me. You'll, you'll pass me in a minute. Here's one of my gem. Here's one of my gem parts, but uh, nice. I think we're going to have to clean the stickers off it because the stickers have not been put on there very well. It's from one of the uh, what was it? The Explorer sets. I think it was. Greg, do you watch Robin Hood bricks? I do. Well, you know about his patented hot tea technique, then, won't you? For moving stickers. <laughs> oh, you could just use a heat gun. Or, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it wouldn't be British if it wasn't tea. Yeah, true. Well, that being said, I, I'm, I'm British and I don't drink very much tea. Well, you're a defecting Brit, Brit aren't you? That's defected, not defecting. <laughs> well, it's because when I used to live with my parents, my mum made so much tea. Like, every, like, 20 minutes, she's like, do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> and, and your problem is what? <laughs> <laughs> I used to eat, drink it, but like, I, it's just like now I don't have that facility because I don't live at home anymore. I'm like, ah, effort. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a poor show if you can't be bothered to make yourself a cup of tea, is all I can say. Hello, dog. There we go. My big dog just come in. Hello, dog. She's a giant now. Was she one of these pups that was sold at the. She won't get very big. No, no, we knew she'd get big. All right. The breed, the breed is sort of between about twenty-five and thirty-five kilos. So mm. big dog. Yeah, it's a big, very intelligent dog. I do like these parts that come in the, the shuttle. I think, I think they were new to the shuttle or fairly new. All right. I need to get one of those shuttles. I like the set. Mm. Well, Stoney, if you're on bag two of this set, I should be I should be paying you to come to my place and build finish building the set for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm slow. I'm slow builder. I'm normally a reasonably quick builder, but when I built Ninjago City Garden, I was determined not to just rush through it, but actually sit there and really enjoy it. Yeah. It like three or four days to do it, which is fine. <laughs> um, but. He was an absolutely phenomenal build, and yeah, Ninjago, the original Ninjago City used to be my favourite set, but I've um, I've I've now changed my allegiance to the gardens because it's absolutely brilliant. I think it was it was Alex Nunes' video of it I was watching, and um, yeah, he sold me on it. Like his his yeah, it really came across how good it was to how enjoyable it was to build. Although they him and his yeah. kids smashed it out, yeah. mm. no time at all. 
Well, it's rare that a sort of follow-up set is as good or better than an original, but in this case, I mean, it's a very close run thing in my head, but I'm still, I still reckon that the gardens is just better than the original. Wow, that is high praise. And they're both better than the, the docks, because I'm afraid that was, it was okay, but it wasn't, there's nothing like those two. See, I like the docks set. I thought that was a pretty, I thought it was pretty cool, but. Um, I don't dislike it, but. <clears throat> It looked a bit small, I felt, and mine's improved an awful lot what's inside the job to um, yeah. an extra level in each of the towers. Yeah. We'll see that. Because they had quite a big floor print, didn't it? So Yeah. They went wide rather than tall. Mm -hmm. And I think they, they they've tried to make their Ninjago gardens feel a bit like it by having that bit on the side. Yeah. That little temple. Mm. The um, Stanley, I can't remember. Did, did did you get those sets as well? Did you get uh, Ninjago City the, the first set? Uh, I think that be, but I've got the dock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the the city was such. I got that from a. I bought that for myself for my fortieth birthday present. And, yeah. and I waited like a year and a half to actually open it because I just like, I wanted to be in the right space. And I'm like, I'm actually not, I need to build it now because I'm in a bad place and that would actually bring me out of my bad place. Mm. Uh, great to build. I'd actually like I'm, to take it out and build it again. <laughs> I blame my lug. I looked at the set and thought, oh, it's quite nice, but I don't know if I really want it. And then every January in the before times, um, we used to build a big set like the new modular normally, but for whatever reason, the, the year the year after I joined, the first January of the year after I joined, um, the modular wasn't available or they couldn't get it or something. So we built the the original Ninjago city instead. And even just building part of it, I'm like, I have to have this set now. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. One day I'll get it. Yeah. I'm going to board the. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It broke up a bit there at the end. Board the half price. I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got Apocalypse Berg for forty percent off. I was like, what? Good. Oh, <laughs> you guys and your deals. You might be really jealous. It's another one that's sitting in its box. Like I, I want to build it, but I've got nowhere to put it. And it's such a phenomenal set. Mm. Yeah. Like I remember when um, Lemonar Production Ryan got hold of that set before it came out, and it was like, is this just, like it just doesn't look like a Lego set? It's so good. Mm. Mm. Thankfully, it was. Oh, I just realised Gallagher asked what I'm building. Um, one of these, another one of these. Sorry, for my big miles layout. Should probably check out the stream. <laughs> nice. I really need to um, finish off my miles layout because we're doing. I'm showing it at Bricks at Home next weekend, which is an online thing of me. Um, which you can all sign up for for free if you want at bricksathome.org. I think. <laughs> Slash join. Um, which be good. We've got Graham Hancock from Blocks Magazine doing the sort of uh, comparing. Oh, cool. oh, wow. And um, there's a one panel where there's a discussion about Lego trains, if that's your thing, Greg. Right, um, and yeah. there's also, uh, we've got a session with um, Samuel Johnson from Lego Ideas, who's oh. going to come and talk to us. So that should be good. Kaz, do you like nine volt train or some of the old old, old school trains at all? Um, yeah, I mean, I like them in terms of they're cool. I don't have any of them. Well, I've got lots of nine volt controllers, but I use those for my, for doing GBC. Yeah, well, Stani's made me very jealous. He has an awesome, awesome train collection. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put twelve volt, but I need to put twelve volt train. Yeah. Well, I've got the old Horizon Express is my favourite train behind me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, but that that is normally powered with power functions. But I don't actually. I, since I re redesigned my room, I don't actually have a full loop of track, so there's not much point in putting the power functions in that at the minute. So I've robbed it for using the controller for some of the moving parts on my Mars base, which I'll be showing next week. So. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. So what trains do you have, Greg? Pardon? What trains? Uh, yeah. I've got two of the 60197s. Oh, yep. Yeah. Can you just tell us what colour that is? Because we we're not all that much of a geek. Oh, this, I've actually done a video on this one because I've been. This isn't actually the standard train. So it's the, the city train, but this is modified heavily. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is actually like longer. Should be about that long, and I've extended it. So yeah. I've turned that to the whole train, and then redoing the interior at the moment on it. Mm. Um, it's not a bad train. It just wasn't big enough because I got um. I found someone who was selling the Horizon Express, like two of them, for not a bad price. Mm. So I took them off him. And then I'm like, well, now that looks the wrong size, so I need to make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> so, nice. Douglas, Douglas is trying to um, bamboozle us with the number of Ninjago cities and whatever he's got. It's two cities, eight docks, one gardens with another coming soon enough. Wow. Well, yeah, all right, Douglas. I've got and how many kidneys have you got? <laughs> that's my new Jago district currently. Nice. Wow, hey, that's cool. With a lot of custom stuff in it rather than just necessarily having multiple copies of the same thing. Really that's cool. cool. Love it. It needs well, a good dust, though, sadly. Oh, you've got the roller coaster track as like a monorail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little train over in. I'm trying to do this without something going horribly wrong. How uh, did you get to that bit in the middle, Kaz? Hiding in the station, just there. What was that? How did you get to that bit in the middle? How do I get to it? Yeah, that bit sort of at the back where that plastic tray is. Like, how do you get over there? Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is this is basically passive <coughs> temporarily while I'm building my Mars base downstairs because I need more room to get all the way around it to, to finish it and do the video and show it at the show. But I suspect after I've done the show, the Mars will move up here and this lot will move back downstairs again. And yes, it's going to take a long time, but it, it means I can get all the way around some of the best pictures are to be had from kind of the other side of this lot so if i have it downstairs i've got them both on sort of movable trolley things which means i can get all the way around all sides from the pictures and whatever so that's that's the plan anyway <laughs> that's awesome man. that's very cool kaz i'm very jealous very jealous of the yeah, I do love. The thing is, I don't actually watch Ninjago at all, and so I don't really know any of the law, so to speak. But I just really love the architecture, and I, I get the um. The great thing about it is, you can build anything in any style, and it just fits together. If you stick to the the um the protocol of having the, the sort of the walkway at the right level and whatever, then it all just yeah. joins up, and you can do absolutely random things with, with what you're building but it ends up looking great so yeah and plus a lot of the um the chinese new year stuff i've adapted as well to go in there so it, it really that's is awesome area That's cool. yeah so starting i'm going to show you this on camera i think um greg and, and kaz as well might may enjoy or like this as well this is the stair technique that they're using for the um so this is the stair technique for the place modular wow. I, what did you think of it greg i thought it was a health and safety issue waiting to happen because they're slippery yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the, like the railing is is pretty small like if you um like, like myself i i still use the railings i'm going upstairs i think there's a ohms issue right there as well <laughs> It's a cool technique, though. I will admit that it's very cool. <laughs> but 
Yeah, not, yeah, not it's basically lots of corner bricks stacked on the sides, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's cool. That's why it's out where the studs are on the wall. I mean, obviously, you'd assume Lego knows how to do that. <laughs> Thankfully, I got that right because it'd be a pain in the rear end if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thankfully I got it right, though. I love the little donut shop, though. The donut shop, I reckon, could have been a little city set by itself and would have sold happily. They would have easily cleaned up if they had just released it. I was saying on my um, Instagram screen a little bit earlier that my only sort of bugbear with this um, <coughs> modular is that they could have easily done away with, like, the new stand at the front and the donut shop and still had a good sized dedicated police station. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I would like to have seen, in line with what you just said, they could definitely have done that, although the whole theme is that they're, they're, they're criminal and it's a donut thief. Of course, of course. But, um, I was thinking that, yeah, they could have actually sort of had a garage on the side for a police car. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Now, you know how that they're starting to um, they're starting to market sets more towards adults rather than yeah look which is fine like I mean I'm it's Lego like if we like the set whether it's adult sort of aimed or not we're we're going to buy it if we like it hey I just picked up the 2021 Friends Cinema set because I want to do a small mock with it yeah um, I love the color of it it reminds me of that Art Deco classic style looking little movie house or theater. Yeah. And, um, but with this police station set, okay, so they've done away with the creator expert name and convention and all of that. But if they've marketed it like they have with the, the black box, like they've done with more of the, I mean, like they did with Sesame Street, but I'm thinking, why did they? It's like they've gone 18 plus for Sesame Street. I'm thinking, really? For Sesame yeah, Street? It's, it's really confusing. Totally it is. is it? Because this. I, this is my if if this police station okay let's just say, and I don't know if this was intentional <laughs> if it was marketed to adults did we need the storyline of the donut thief like I understand if they put it in there for the younger audience uh, and the younger fans sure go for it but if there's if if they were trying to market this set more for the adult market did we need the storyline of the of the donut thief do you think probably not yeah. They would have had room for a garage, even if they just stored a couple of motorbikes in there, even if they couldn't make it a massive garage to put, you know, cars and other stuff in, but at least they could have given us the, the, the facility to do it. Um, they, at the back of it, at the back, on the base plate, they've left five studs, so yes, you've got an alleyway, but for most of us, you know, we know what we're either going to do, I guess, we're either going to mock it, we're either going to put it on to, um, we're either going to completely flesh it right out and just build it straight to the right to the back of the base plate um, or they're going to have an alleyway in there but I don't know I think that's my only bugbear and I mean it's just me like I tried to say it um, in a nice more like you know family friendly tone where my grandmother used to say opinions are like rear ends everybody has one so yes <laughs> this is just my opinion but I, I think if, if they were marketing at adults they probably could have done away with the donut shop thing you know the, yeah, the storyline but but if they weren't marketing it just for adults, then I think the donut shop on its own could have been a set by itself, even like a Lego city set. I would have bought it regardless. I think if they had made it into a small city set, I would have happily bought it. No problems at all, no arguments, because I love the colour variety that they've used. I love the shop. It is so cool. The detail in that tiny space is awesome. But, you know. Um, again, just an opinion. The other sets that have had some really good side builds recently are some of the Monkey Kid sets. Oh, um, yeah. With like the little supermarket and uh, the Pigsy's sort of food establishment. And to yeah. be honest, uh, on the Tuck Tuck as well, I think all of those would have stood up quite happily as their own individual sets and people would have bought them for oh, this. Oh, yeah. and, and it's a shame that. They, to the, know, uh, I think back to the Ninjago movie set, you know, the little market store they did. Yeah. That was yeah, great. that was cool. Yeah. I've I've got that set. Um, what I want to do is when I can afford to buy the um, 
the, the Lantern Festival set. I want to try and expand it out a little bit and include that little market and set up like a little market stall there as well. I think that would look kind of cool to go with it. Um, I don't have the budget to stretch to get the um, the Ninjago, like the, the, like the garden set itself, but the um, the Lantern Festival one caught my attention. Um, I love that, you know, there's so many cool details in that set as well. Um, yeah, I, I want to set up like a little, just in the little sort of part of my layout, that sort of thing I think would be cool. But, um, did you go for the monkey set? I can't remember if I asked you as well, starting you and Greg and, and Kaz. What were your thoughts, I suppose, in general with the monkey kid thing? Like, I know it's more the, the market that they were aiming for was that set. I bought one or two of them. Um, they were quite expensive for what they were, I thought. And also, some of the sets were really quite large. Like, Pigsy's food truck seemed to be oh, yeah. absolutely massive and out of proportion for use in the city. I feel like that came from another theme and they just wanted to use it for something. So well, maybe, I don't know. I mean I bought I bought the um the massive boat thing because I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I got um, that as well. It is very cool. Yeah, and it, it, I ended up cannibalizing it for a sort of container city which is living somewhere in the middle of the Ninjago there. Um because it was so massive I I know I couldn't keep it sort of together as it was. Um yeah. and then what else have I had from that? I'm just trying to think. Oh, I got the um, I got Red Sun's Inferno truck to do a review on, which was again interesting, but not something I probably would have bought myself. But I would have bought the side builds separately if if I hadn't got the whole set to do a review on. So. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So they were all on um, special on Toys R Us here the other day, and um, oh yeah, and uh, I was like looking at it going, I don't really want any of those. <laughs> <laughs> They're like they were literally half price, and I was still looking at them going, I don't, just don't think I can use them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Not now much of a nightmare. These stickers were to put on the fins. I wish Lego would do more Princeton stickers. Yes. I, 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 funnily enough, I was having this discussion with some friends the other day, and, and yeah, while I agree with that most of the time, it's also the case of yes, but if you if you sticker something that's very specialist with something like a Batman logo, but you really want to use that part in a mock that's got nothing to do with Batman, <coughs> then at least you have the option not to use the sticker, whereas if it's a print, you're absolutely stuck. Yeah, that's true. I built uh, I built this set the other day, the new Ninjago Mick. Oh, oh yeah, wow. it's pretty. It's pretty sweet. The only the only thing I don't like is that there's no rotation in the hips, and there's no rotation in the legs. That's my only gripe with it. Otherwise, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, I suspect it would have fallen over if it had, had those. Yeah, I, I actually will stand up on one leg at the moment. It's pretty strong. Actually, the other thing I would change is put. A, a, cab over the driver because uh yeah i feel like it should have something over it it's not very ninja if you do that looks cool though yeah, yeah. It's good. so i've got more ninjas than i know what to do with having got a few of the ninjago sets but um, Ooh, that's a i'm not overly interested in the, the ninja aspect of it myself but with the um the whole building style, really. <laughs> I, I like Max. So I'm sort of not really. Um, um, I'm not really much of a like. I'm I'm not skilled at like. I'd never do a, a mock one. Um, one that I one that I did like though, um, and this is going back to one of the well now older things was from um, the Exo Knights theme. I got I think it's called King Halbert's Mech. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like swords on it. It's it's pretty cool. Um, but yes. yeah, I was a big fan of the Exo Force theme. Ah, yeah, yeah, cool. That was a great theme. That was sort of a precursor to Ninjago. Yeah, a lot of the ideas in Ninjago came from that theme. Mm. 
Right, well, I'm done with my shuttle. I'm not going to put the wheels on because it's going to be in flight rather than landing. Cool. I've got to try and find some way to put it in the, uh, the Mars layout now. Oh, well, you mean the wheels aren't built into it? What? Oh, the wheels are pretty puny, actually. With these silly little... Oh, those ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the skateboarding wheels. They're even worse. I oh, know. Didn't they use the plane wheels? Nope. Yep. Stanley, with, so, so someone who's, who's been on, on the Lego Masters and is part of the Lego Masters family, do you yep. think that in future seasons, and I might be asking just to prep myself just because you never know, but um, do you think that you could that they could um, or do you think that mix could be more of a thing that they'll want to push for challenges and things like that, or maybe not? Um, I don't know. I'm... Good question. Um, maybe yeah, there would be a challenge, I guess. But then yeah. you know, if you're uh, you just work mix into a sort of a challenge anyway, just like yeah. uh, for a day it. Uh, uh, Henry and Kay did well. They just worked it in the uh, actual, the actual yeah. uh, challenge. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's going to be interesting to see what, what else they're going to do, the challenges they will put up. Yeah. Next, next I'd, I'd love to see him bring back the, the bridge challenge again. That was my favourite. I don't know, because in the US, they absolutely smashed that challenge. Yeah. Uh, three of the teams hit the maximum limit they could put on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, how, how, how heavy was it? It was like 500 kilos. It was it? like 1,000 kilos or something. It was a lot Jeez. of weight. That is crazy. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was massively. It uh, was, yeah. I mean, especially without using glue, that is that's phenomenal. Yeah, it was it was mass. It was re I think it was a thousand kilos. No craggle kilos. No, no craggle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was perfect, Kaz. Yes, no craggle. <laughs> craggle is evil. Craggle is evil. There's a lot of people who go onto the groups and ask questions about gluing stuff, and I'm, I swear they go on there just to wind people up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I know there's a place for it. If you're building something for a park where people are going to walk underneath it and they could get brained by bits falling off, fair enough. But otherwise, don't craggle. Is my unequivocal un, uh, opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and especially I think, when you know it is such a strong medium. If they if they do it right, yeah, build right. Yes, but no, I, I think if Mex came up on a main, like as a main challenge, if I was on the show, yeah, I think I'd be just saying, you know what, guys, it's been fun, and <laughs> just start walking out. <laughs> oh, just go back to <laughs> pack my bags. <laughs> Well, that's it. I mean, I, I like I like building different things, but um, I've got no real interest in that, so I've never done any of them. And um, yeah. whilst I I know the principle of what you need to do to for, to build a mech, it's like it's just not an inspirational thing that I think I would do any good at. So I'm not bothered. Yeah, true. Well, that's just me. I mean, some people, don't get me wrong. I enjoy seeing other people's builds because they're phenomenal, but. I just know that mine will <laughs> So would mine. <laughs> Not alone. <laughs> uh, a bit of ice. <laughs> yeah. No, I was. Oh, I was. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you know, I built in the shade. I just. It's quite just. I don't know what. What? Got all the pieces of the world, you know. Mm. You can build some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still can see Damien and um and, and Andrew's um temple alone being a set like that that I'd easily buy. <laughs> so like 
all right, guys, it is a set. You know, even if they released it themselves or something, they'd be like, yeah, I'll buy that. Hi. Done. <laughs> that temple was awesome. Uh, Sorry, mate. It'll go well with the Jago. Oh, big time. Big time. Yeah. Easy done. Yeah, no, no definitely. Garligate says, I've seen people review temporary glue before you wash them off with water, but it's not very good. Yeah, that sounds like it wouldn't be very good somehow. Mm. Yeah, anywhere that's vaguely humid and that wouldn't work. You're talking about Ausland? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, the humidity here. I think that would do me in, if I'm honest. It's been pretty bad the uh, last couple of weeks. Yeah, today wasn't much fun either. I don't mind dry heat so much, but humidity, black. Yeah. Well, we, we've had a, quite a rainy summer here, so. Mm. Which surprises me, because my parents didn't come over. Usually yeah. my parents didn't come over. <laughs> yeah, so like, they, we used to live in Warunga, and... Um, I mean anything to anybody on here other than the people who live in Sydney, which is like sort of up near Hornsby and right on the edge of the um, right on the edge of the the forest up there. And um, yeah, that wind, that summer was the, the summer they came was so wet that I like every day I was out there in my raincoat draining the pool because it was overflowing every single day. Jeez, just wow. like I had to drain it in the morning and then drain it when I got home from work. <laughs> Yeah, I would do my head in. Hey, starting out, have you got a pearl yourself? Do you have a pearl? God. I was going to say, that would have come in handy if you like for practicing, if you got even a hint that they were going to do like the underwater challenge type thing that they were trying to do on. Well, that was, uh, that was season two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but they, they won't hint on anything. But always, <laughs> no. You could always speculate, but you could never, you know. <laughs> no. I um, I don't condone blowing up Lego, but the that challenge they did in the US for the US one was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't watch videos where people throw things off high, you know. I've got a Star Destroyer, I'm going to throw it off a bridge. It's like, no, but, but Kaz, it was actually done in such a way that when they blew the Lego up, they had to design the models so that they actually, when they exploded, like it did something interesting. So yeah, we had that round on the UK one as well. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. There's a few people who managed to get rockets to go through. <laughs> that would have been cool. Will I? Will I? Okay. Now I've got two dogs under my desk. <laughs> now all you need both of them to do is fart, Greg. That's all you need, man. Good enough. Wait a bit. It doesn't it'll take long. <laughs> it's happened before. It's happened before. Come on, and you. Then Greg will fart and blame the dogs. This is my <laughs> This is my puppy. Oh. That's a big puppy. She's lovely. There's also She's a French sheepdog. Oh, it's not good enough for you then, Greg. It's what? Old English, not good enough for you. <laughs> these ones are smarter. Um, <laughs> these are different. They're, um, they're, these are... Um, these almost went extinct because the French were using them during World War One, and because they were so effective at helping with the trenches and things, and they almost went extinct. Oh, so, really? It's a breed that's come back. It's not very common over here in Australia. There's only a few breeders. Mm. And they're absolutely beautiful personalities. She absolutely loves her family. She loves the kids. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. That was one of the descriptions on, on good old Wikipedia of, of the breed is um, part of gold wrapped in fur. That's awesome. That is cool. 
Ah, Matthew Bill Brick says hello. Well, hi guys. Hello. Hi. Good day. Hi. I thought I got loads of storage units, but evidently I didn't because I've half filled it already. <laughs> oh, more, Greg, don't you know? I haven't got anywhere to put more. Unless well, that's, my... that, that's a different problem, but you know. Unless I take my computer out of this room. Exactly, you don't need that. Or get a get a laptop. Well, it's quite distracting actually having the computer in here. <laughs> yeah. Get a laptop might be a better idea. Yeah. But then if but then you'll find that the screen's too small, so then you add a monitor and then you think, well, I might as well just gone back to my desktop. Yeah, that's true. That's true. God, it's a vicious circle, isn't it? It is. It is. We're never satisfied, are we? No, 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 no. No, you can't beat a nice big IMAX screen, unfortunately. No. Well, you can. You get a bigger screen, but... <laughs> then, you, then, as, as they say on the Bluey TV show, then you need more dollar bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Love that show. Oh, hang on. Just broke copyright now. Good grief. We've done swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Nudity. Hey, Kaz and, and Stani and myself don't have to worry about that because it's not our channel. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Damn cough. You hate that when you have a cold and you just get like the never ending tickle in your throat afterwards, it just will not go. Yeah. <coughs> Which is probably I must a sign. confess that since, uh, since not seeing anybody or going anywhere, I haven't had a cold in ages. That's wood. That's wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably jinx it now, but. Yeah, jinx it. Yeah. Hey, jinx. I think, unfortunately, I got it from one of my. I think we got it from one of our kids. Ah. Uh, kids. Yes, the little germ machines. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What did you bring home from work from school today, kids? Oh, I've got some homework and a cold. Oh, <laughs> Hi, Dad. Here's a cold. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, some hands put in now. <laughs> yeah, doesn't take much. Bag it's like when the kids. Bag three, Starley. Like you catch yeah. up to me. Ah, uh, that's it. I'm when we start. I'm, I'm, when this all finishes, I'm sending you a message. I'll send you money or, or PayPal. Say, right, Stanley, come to come to my place, finish the set for me. Because I'll be in a Christmas building this damn thing. Thanks, mate. Money. He's got through three bags in the time in this time. How, how many bags have you done? Um, I'm still on bag nine. Oh, oh no, I've done bag eight and I'm on bag nine. Can I, can I ask you a cheeky question? Did, did you get yeah. any road plates? Like, how long did they take you to build? <laughs> oh, now, well, see, them, that's a bit different. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm not that slow, although I'm sure <laughs> that's like, no, me will say that I am. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm still, like, building the first one, and <laughs> I bought ten of them. What? No, no, no. I'm, the, uh, the modular, the smaller builds slow me down a little bit. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, because they they're very cool. Like when you get to bag nine, starting the yeah. um, the desks are really cool. Um, the old style computer desk, uh, the typewriter and rotary phone. You'll enjoy that. It's it's cool. It's a, a fun little build and awesome little detail. Um, I was showing them before. Um, that's the one that's got the typewriter. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then the fine one, the, the, old, the old rotary phone. That's cool. Yeah, that Love it. That is. So, uh, yeah. I didn't actually realize it says 
said that when you guys are talking about what's what's that sorry i didn't realize that sesame street had 18 plus as well yeah <laughs> yeah it's, it's sesame street why would they need to put sesame i mean look hey i'm not knocking the street i love sesame street but no, 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 as well no. yeah yeah so you've heard about what Big Bird likes to do after hours, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Are we we're gonna go? Asking, Greg, oh, we're man, there it goes again. Oh, monetization <laughs> on today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't be monetizing for this one, Greg. <laughs> go on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Would you believe I yeah. don't have any one by two yellow bricks anywhere? Uh, I just put a load in a container, but that doesn't help you, does it? Not really. Thanks for the offer, though, mate. <laughs> How are you working, Kat? Let's like try and help. All right. <laughs> I'm building a habitat for the. Um, you remember this ringmaster dude, one of the early CMS? Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. That's I've got a cool. Yeah. I got Puma the other week in a set, so I thought he could be, well, I suppose a Puma or a Lion or whatever, but he can be taming it. Kazi, I don't know if you've ever looked at Kazi's channel, but she does, um, she's got Micropolis, which is awesome, which was on display at Lego House. You so, kidding? Still there, actually. Still there? Huh. Yeah. I was supposed to go and get it last September, but that never happened. Yeah, that would be wow. Well, now you're out of the EU, you've got to apply for a visa as well, probably. Oh, God, don't tell me. It's going to be hideous. <laughs> that would be cool, though, to have it on display at Lego House. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. Still so, did you actually get to go? Sorry? Sorry. I was going to say, did. Did you actually get to go, or did they just say, look, just create it up and send it to us, and then we'll do the No, place? they, um, <coughs> they got all of the displays, so, like, if you just um, got a single model in some of the sort of um, cabinets around the house, they tend to say, just create it up and we'll put it out. But I was one of the folks in the Masterpiece Gallery, so I got quite a large setup, and then um, they, they basically invited it over for a VIP day and uh set it all up because a lot of the folks have brought stuff that were really really delicate and not really available or are able to um uh to have it you know set up by yeah, somebody yeah. else that didn't know how it went together yeah true yeah so it was a, a an amazing day i drove myself to denmark from the uk which was a bit of, a, wow. bit of an epic trip but um it still feels like it really didn't happen, but <laughs> yeah. post COVID, it's like, did I really drive myself to Denmark? I can't quite believe that. <laughs> hey, yeah. you, weren't you weren't featured on a um, on a document or in a documentary, were you? Um, I've been in. Well, there's been various little short videos from Lego House that I've been in, and I was also interviewed when when Beyond the Brick did their tour around the new exhibits in the masterpiece gallery in that would have been when um i think it was that they filmed it while we were there but that they, they didn't release it till christmas eve 2019 i think it was um oh, yeah. I, I featured in basically they did the tour around but they they interviewed me plus one or two other people um and so yeah. they dropped my interview in when it came to my particular bit in the in the display it's quite a nice way to do it awful Cool. That's awesome. This is my current building challenge. Can you see that under my desk? Oh. It's a bit of a mess, Greg. Sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll go to the You've Greg been told, mate, yeah. Sort it out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> two dogs under my desk. I can't actually put my feet under my desk now. <laughs> I'll sort it out for you. It'll be fine. I actually had to go and sleep on the sofa the other day because there was like both the dogs on the bed plus two of my children in the bed. I'm like, oh, God's sake. 
say Mrs. Greg had got mad with you and chucked you out. <laughs> oh, I'm buying too much Lego. It's like now you can go on the couch, darling. That's our idea. Well, my littlest one has a habit of kicking me, saying, Dad, get up, get me a bottle. Like, she literally kicks Aww. me out of bed. That's rough. Bang, I get it. Get the exact same thing. <laughs> like, it's, it's six in the morning, you inconsiderate little... <laughs> I, I'm laughing because I've been there, too. Yep. <laughs> I was building Lego till one o'clock last night. Don't you wait? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, whose fault is that then, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kids, because I can't do it during the day. <laughs> yeah. No sympathy from Kaz. <laughs> I, I kind of get the feeling that she's not going to wash with your kids. Yeah. Actually, how did you go last night, Greg? Because I know um, you'd said that um, you were um, you were working out, you were working on blowing up an air mattress. How did, how did that go for you? I slept in their room all night, so which I'm doing again tonight because in the vague hope that they'll actually stay in their beds. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Which means, my wife will get some, which means my wife will get some sleep because she's been really, really sick. Good. As opposed to me, who's just been really sick. Yeah. Mean never, flu. Never See, a man flu. No. Yeah. Never a we just, No, because we just get man flu and that's it. Man flu. <laughs> so so the, the sympathy and support's long gone. It's just like, it's just man flu. It's like, it's more than that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to make any any rude comments but <laughs> but you want to <laughs> <laughs> you really 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 want to like let's just put it down to this thing, like, it? it's like you know you're married it's like you can agree with me or you can be wrong so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right man flu's not as bad as as anything you'll ever get i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> The dreaded man flu. Which, which I would understand that if you like got sick a lot, but don't generally get sick a huge amount that I have recently. But you sh never used to. No. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we should probably talk about Lego. Yes. Yeah. We have. Um, so you go. Time is it? I'm going to call it a day in a minute because it's almost half eleven. Yeah. I'll be back half. Should probably go to bed. <laughs> Got work tomorrow. Same. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> I don't. I've got three children though. Yeah. So they'll be up at six o'clock. That's what makes you wicked, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we need to buy just. Sorry, huh? Sam. I need to go to work so I can buy more Lego. That's right. Well, I'm I'm trying to get a job at the moment, so. <laughs> oh, no good. I resigned. I used to be a co-founder in a startup, which I resigned from because I had a falling out with my co-founders, and been in a mental funk for the last uh, six months. So I've finally come out of it. Um, quite good. Oh, you uh, doing? Uh, was a. Uh, we were building a platform to help small business or well, small and medium businesses with their marketing using AI. Oh, so okay. Building like a, building an agency into a computer. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I got the blame for lots of things that weren't my fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got lots of grey tiles for when I build my roads now. When I try the new road place, that's good. Yeah. Dollar goes asking if I got any of the new uh, CMFs from Series Twenty One. I think the answer is yes, I have. I got the old from. Where is she? Come back. I got the old from um, Paddleboarder. 
Why not? Oh, cool. With the, the dolphin. Um, and she comes with a really nice torso, which is a bit of a waste because then you put this life vest on her. Oh. So I've, this particular one, I've given, I've just put a random torso on the CMF. Um, I've nicked the torso for my own, a change of clothing for my own um, sig fig. Oh, that's cool. Come on, focus this wine. That's cool. That's cool. Camera, you can do it. Basically, they they put that really cool dolphin and sunset under a under a light. <coughs> cool, really so cool. That one, and I've got mm. the the beekeeper, which I've made a habitat for. Anybody else? Uh, <laughs> There's my beekeeper in his habitat. Oh, wow. Well, hey, that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Like, oh. Mm. Oh, oh, which one? Stanley's breaking up again. I said, oh, I that one again? That one in the oh, yeah, the ladybird. That's cool. Yeah. Or oh, cute. Cool. That's cool. I found this one in a uh, hall the other day. Oh, where's a good one? This one's a uh, from one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. Random. That's awesome. That's cool. Oh, here's the beginnings of my my circus guys habitat. Oh, nice. It's a very large. <laughs> Very large cat that he's got. <laughs> That's cool, though. All right, guys. I think I'm going to just read through the comments and then call it a night. Because I'm actually... Yeah. We miss any comments? Huh? Gallagher asked if you got the Chinese New Year set, guys. I did. You did? I did. The um the gardens. It's it's basically in front of Ninjago Gardens there, which you can't see very well. But and all my cables are a bit um tangled up now, so it's a bit harder to drag the camera over there. But yes, it's very good. I enjoyed that build a lot. Cool. Yeah. All right, everybody. Um, sorry to wrap up now. I would stay up, wow. but I'm living tired. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem at all, mate. And I feel like it's like might help me shake this cold. Yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you for inviting us, man. It's been great. Yeah, no, it's nice good. to hang out. Thank you. Every Sunday, if anyone wants to join. <laughs> awesome. Thank right. you. Thanks, everyone, for joining us, and we'll see you again soon. Okay. Uh, thanks again. Bye, folks. Thanks, Greg. Bye.